What's up, rockers? I'm madder than a bull with a cactus in its ass right now. Now, let me uh, explain what's going on here. Um, I had, most of my experiences with eBay have been great. Uh, I'm usually pretty good at picking out, you know, um, when something seems too good to be true. Um, I guess I got a little ahead of myself, a little excited in this particular instance, because uh, you guys both know, or all know, both know, I'm talking about, you guys all know that I am, I love Norman Laboratory speakers. Love Norman Lab. Um, so much so that I actually drove to Delaware and got really lucky to score a pair of, uh, Model 11s I am using temporarily for my rear channels. Um, as you guys all know, I have these rebuilt um, Norman Lab Model 9s, which is their top of the line model. This is a quadraphonic stereo system, so I would really like to have another pair of Model 9s for the rear channels. Um, that being said, uh, recently on eBay, there was a, uh, for sale at, I have it, Norman Lab speakers, uh, said as a, for an alert on my phone, whenever a match comes up. Now, usually I get, there's usually either one of the off models or every now and again, you'll see a pair of Model 11 show up, Model 8s, stuff like that. But these are the big bad boys. These are the, um, these are the, their top of the line model. They have three tweeters. Two front-firing 10-inch woofers and one rear-firing 10-inch woofer per cabinet. Also notice um, there's at least two different styles of, of uh, cabinets. This is, this is, here's the original one. Um, I think the later one also has the tweeters, three original in like a diamond orientation. So there actually might be three, um, three styles. Um, there's also, so, so not only do I need this cabinet, the model of nines with this particular cabinet, because these are all, I believe, handcrafted. I also need the ones with the clear wolfers. Now, let me explain. To me, looks matter. I know a lot of audio guys tell you looks don't matter. They do matter, unless they're single. If you're... <laughs> No, no freaking married man is going to tell you that looks don't matter. It has to be, has to be wife approved. That and I just like my stuff to look nice. Like, look at that. This is dead sexy. No modern, no modern equipment will ever look like that ever again. But anyway, I want my equipment to match. And I actually got lucky with the Model 11s too, because the Model 11s also have the clear 10 inch woofer with two tweeters. So this is actually a really good match for uh, the rears for now. Uh, technically a quadraphonic system, you want four identical speakers. Now in my living room, my living room is already kind of like, um, not really the best layout for a good stereo system, but I make it work. So I have the L100 classics up front with the Marantz 4300 and two L52 classics for the rears because I have no room up there for a second set of L100s, at least not right now. Uh, down here, though, my options are pretty uh, are pretty good. You know, I can I can do a lot. So I'd really like another set of these uh, Norman Lab Model 11 towers for back here. Um, anyway, I found a set on eBay. Same cabinet, same tweeters, same woofers. Uh, the woofers needed reconed, and he said that the uh, Circuit breakers were jumpered out. I'm like, okay, well, these are 50 year old speakers. I want to have them redone anyway. Like, I was actually going to take these, take the woofers, and send them out to Dave in, at, at Speaker Works over in I think it's is either Tulsa or Oklahoma City. I want to say it was Tulsa, and uh, have them rebuilt like he did with these. Now these ones here, he actually um, sold me these because somebody butchered these speakers, Franken speaker them, put whatever the fuck drivers they felt like. And I know I had two Sherwin Vega, Kerwin Vega fucking woofers in them. And then two of them may have been Norman Labs with the black cones. And two of them were some like really cheap, flimsy fucking thing. I have no idea where they got them. Trash picked them, bought them off wish.com. 
I don't know where the hell they got them. They were pure garbage. And ironically enough, these speakers still sounded decent. Um, once I got the Credence, these are, these are uh, Credence, Credence or Credence, I don't know how you pronounce them, woofers that came with the Norman Live speakers. They come in three cones. Clear being the rarest, brown being the most common, and black kind of being like the middle of the road um, as far as rarity goes. And it can be any of these combinations in these cabinets. So I need this cabinet, these tweeters, and these woofers. And the one on eBay was, um, like I said, just had all the foam surrounds were, were bad. And he already had a shipping price, you know, picked out. I, I hit the buy it now button. He right over me again. He's like, are you sure you feel like spending this much money for shipping? I'm like, yes, absolutely. They're rare speakers. I want them. I'm going to have them rebuilt. Well, a week or so goes by. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to like wonder what the hell's going on here. Cause he never marked the seller. Mark never marked the item as shipped. And it was actually the day that I was going to message him and be like, Hey, uh, when should I be expecting these to be shipped out? Cause like I said, about a week has gone by and, um, it's actually about a week since this all went down too, because I, had, I, I was really, really angry. And I had to, you know, kind of like let the, let some steam settle before I was e even wanted to really talk about it. Um, I was paying a good, uh, the speakers itself, I paid 400, well, I paid. I uh, I got to check and see if my fucking refund came in. I don't even know if my fucking refund came in. But uh, I have to check and see. But, yeah, anyway, um. I basically got fucked on a raw deal. And this guy, this guy messaged me, hey man, you know, I'm um, having a hard time packaging these up. And then he starts going off about, yeah, and I really don't feel comfortable selling these speakers like this. They have a two ohm impedance. Um, the tweet, uh, a couple of the tweeters aren't working. And uh, the, uh, light, yes, it actually is a light bulb. Uh, There's a light bulb that they use as a fuse on the crossover. If you want to see them, you can go back to my video from a few years back where I was where I was putting these all back together again, and I messaged him back. But okay, um, I'm thinking okay, maybe he's maybe he's trying to be. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's trying to be a nice guy. Maybe maybe he was being honest. Maybe um, they were they were in a little bit worse shape than he originally thought. But then I'm, but then he never responds to me. And then I'm thinking to myself like, well, why the fuck would you list something like that? Ask that much money for them. When you don't, when you don't even know anything about it, and so so a red flag's going up at this point, and I'm getting madder and madder. I wait a few days. I message him. At this point, the guy ghosted me. He won't even respond to me. He probably blocked me for all I fucking know. I don't really care. I gotta block him too, so I never see another one of his fucking ads again, or another one of his listings again. Um, I message back. I'm like, okay, well, the cab. I could find another set of Model Nines with the cabinets. Probably they show up. Probably a couple times a year on Facebook Marketplace. Far away, I'll have to pay you ship to ship them up because I live in Pennsylvania. These are very rare up here. I actually found these by sheer dumb luck. Now I'm sure somebody around here somewhere has a set of these, but they're probably using them or they're in a storage bin right now in their grandparents' basement. And they don't know what they have, and they're probably going to be thrown away when they pull them out, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so I'm like, okay, well, how about this? How about if you're going to throw these speakers away, like he said he's going to do, how about this? How about you come up with a price for just the woofers? Give me the woofers as they are. As they are, just the woofers. So I can have Dave from Speakerworks rebuild them. And then I have them. So if I get another set of Model Model 9s that have a different woofer in them, I can just be, okay, no big deal. I'll throw, I'll throw these woofers in, which technically are identical except for the the cones the cone color could be like i said it could be clear brown or black and i like the clear personally but yeah nothing so yeah i'm pretty pissed it's kind of a sore subject right now like i said these are extremely rare speakers they were located down in albuquerque so i understand you know the high shipping costs and i was willing to pay that I was even willing. I, my first offer was actually okay. How about this? If you're if you're not going to sell me, you're going to throw them away. How about you cancel the sale, send me a refund, and I'll just ha I'll just send a I'll just have a U ship guy go to the address and pick them up for me, and I'll just pay an outrageous, even more outrageous than your shipping cost quote. 
nothing. So, yeah, I hate solos like that. They really piss me off. Kind of grinds my gears, you know? But anyway, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I worked last night. I worked tonight, too. I just had a little bit of time to come down here and rant to you guys, so so I did. But, um, yeah, as you can see, I made a few changes. This is the most obvious change. But, anyway, you rockers, uh, don't take any shit from nobody. I'll catch you next time. Rock on. Peace out. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys have a better week than I'm having. Catch you next time.